What's up? Engine DJ 4.0 has just dropped. We're going to take a closer look. This update comes to all Engine DJ ready units from Denon DJ and Newmark, for example. And you will need to do a firmware update to get this new look and these new features. So what's interesting about this update? Well, first of all, it looks much cleaner and much nicer. If we just go into the library view here, you can see there's updated icons across the top. Go into the waveform view. We've got this nice updated sleek interface. And a lot of these updates come with the interface here on the screen. So if I just go back to the settings, you will now see that we have three different view options in the layout. This means we can now save three different layouts to toggle between, depending on how you're mixing. Maybe, you know, you want to see more of the library that you're playing in. We can turn on now performance library. And you'll see, if I go out of here, we get the tracks that we're working with within that playlist at the moment. So it's a really nice, neat layout. But not only that, you could then choose to show just four waveforms, but only two decks. Or you could have four decks and four waveforms. We could have four decks and two waveforms. So this is where it gets really interesting with the four deck players, is that before it would show so much on the screen, whereas now we can control what it shows and we could have two decks and four waveforms, which is really nice, showing the two decks, but the four stacked waveforms, or we could get rid of the performance library and we get the extended view. And it just means that we can manipulate this screen how we choose for the different environments we play in. Um, and they can just be set on view one, view two, and view three. And then let's say I change some of these parameters, view two, let's do it horizontal, uh, vertical and four waveforms. And then if I go off this, all I need to do is hold the shift button and then press view here and I can toggle between the different layouts that I've got saved, which is really neat. We now also have this beat keeper and beat phase option here that can be switched on and off between all different views. And this ultimately means when you've got a lead track playing, it will show you if it's going out of phase. This was made really popular on Tractor. And this will help you with your beat matching and your timing to check whether things are in phrase and on time. If you do want to manually toggle which is the lead deck, you can just tap the BPM here or here and it will manually move the lead deck to the opposite side if you want to do that. Up in the player section, the key mode has had a few things changed and added. We've now got sync, which is awesome. So you can just sync to the opposite side. If we were to key sync, play this one as the lead song, key sync that, you'll see it's gone up by two semitones to 11A, so it will sync with the opposite side. But you can also manually just toggle this up and down as well. And it's really nice that it just looks really sleek and it shows it and then you can reset it as well. So if you've gone up and you don't want it there, you can reset. Again, you could do it in a performance way. and then reset, or you could just turn the whole thing off or back on. My favorite thing really is just the updated sleeker layout with the nice new search button, which has a few different parameters now. So you can search your whole collection or you can just search the playlist that you're currently in, such as this house one. Then we've got all these other nice new icons for the matching playlists and the match rules. Um, for organizing your playlist and it just looks and feels much more sleek and it's really nice that you can just get straight to the search bar whether you're in the browser view or the waveform view again you've got the touch effects and you've got the fader echo on and off and the quantize still there another new feature is train spotting mode so if we click this gear icon and go to the settings and device um, we can now hide title or artist, which then ultimately gets rid of the name of the song and the artist of the song. This is potentially if you've got any people creeping over your shoulder, trying to write down every song that you're playing. Some DJs don't like that, don't vibe with it. So there is an option now to hide those track names so that you can keep it a secret if you so choose. Another neat thing in this library mode now is when we're in a playlist, we can now expand and contract this here and it shows it basically gets rid of the tree view and it shows more of your playlist and more of the information that you want when you're within any of the playlists so it's just really cool that when you tap in there you can then expand it 
It might be good for the devices with much smaller screens, such as the new marks, where you might need to use up more of the screen to see what is in your library. Again, if you've got the type, the font on a larger size, then we get to see more of it as well, which is really nice. Within the touch effects, the filter echo and the filter dub echo now have this echo amount and resonance. So you can change more of the parameters to set it up how you want it to sound just with that extra flexibility. And talking about the effects over on the effects section over here, the effects on button now flashes quite violently to make sure that you're aware that it is on and the reset will reset all the parameters across the effects too. And then all in all, just the feel of the screen. For example, when we load a song, it just looks really neat. It looks really nice. There's a whole new updated interface across the board as mentioned, and it's just nice to be able to toggle through those different views that you've got preset. There's a whole list of improvements and fixes as well that come along with this update. So to check out all of those, just click the link where you can go and find out how to download the firmware and also what all of those improvements are across the board on Engine DJ 4.0. Let us know in the comments if there were other things you were expecting with this update or things you think need adding in the future. I know. Uh, Den and DJ and in music will be looking at the comments to find out you know where they can improve their offering too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video very soon.